Jane Fonda, an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. It's my pleasure. Thank you. This is really hard work because I've been given the job to talk to the beautiful and legendary Jane Fonda about sex, really, haven't I? Have you? I think I have. <laughs> I think you've made it the topic of conversation in Book Club. Well, yes, my character is, um, you know, she's an older woman, but she still gets it on. But only with men she doesn't care about and only in the afternoon because she doesn't want intimacy. Yeah. But she's worried that her friends have kind of shut down and so she brings... Fifty Shades of Grey into the book club to stir things up, and it works. Have you read Fifty Shades of Grey? I have. You have? Yeah. I'm glad it was written. I thought it was. it's very good for women in America to read it. What did it do for you? Not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I lived in France for a long time, so right. I've read the real erotic novels. Um, I, you had a bit of difficulty getting this over the line, didn't you? The, the studio bosses were thinking, well, hang on a minute. you." Uh... We had no studio. We did it. It, we, we were an independent movie. We made it on a shoestring budget. Um, and then once it was made, Paramount bought it. Right. So you took the punt. Yeah. Yeah. You hadn't worked with Diane Keaton or Mary Any or Candace before. No, no. I knew them all in passing, you know, at parties and things, but we'd never worked together. And one of the reasons that I wanted to make the movie was to get to know them. And we all became really good friends. Isn't that it good? Was there so would have nice. been times in your career, though, Jane, where you would have indirectly competed with some of those women, wouldn't you? For, for roles? For roles and boyfriends. Uh, I remember very early on, and I think when I was in Hollywood making my first movie, my boyfriend want, said, I want you to meet this girl. Her name is Candy Bergen. She's 17, and I want you to see how beautiful she was. I, I think that he was kind of wanting to be her boyfriend. And so we went to her house and she was standing at the top of a ladder doing something. I'll never forget it. I wanted to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> Far too fetching. Um, can you tell me your immediate reaction when they told you you'd have to kiss Don Johnson passionately in this movie? Well, I'm the one that asked them to hire him because uh, I had seen him in a movie uh, a year or so before and he was so good. Yeah. Not in the way one would think. He was very deep. He had a lot of depth. And I think he looks better than he did when he was younger. So when the time came to cast my love interest, I asked to, to cast him. And I really enjoyed working with him and kissing him, too. Take a message. Take a message? <laughs> really? Oh. I didn't realize that, <clears throat> that you were here. We just saw each other in the lobby two days ago. Pity. They say the memory is the second thing to go. What's the first thing to go? Can't remember. I'm impressed. How'd you find me? Google. Google? Yeah, it's a service on the computer. Yeah, well, I know Google. Oh, well, I'm younger than you, so I didn't know. Oh, you. cute. Cute. And look, am I clutching here? But I see a lot of Jane Fonda in the character Vivian. I see someone who's successful, who's feisty, has always been feisty, very independent, and maybe even at your age an experienced lover, Jane. Well, I'm 80. I hope I've got some experience under my belt. I've had three husbands, <laughs> all of whom were a handful. <laughs> Who was a handful? They were a handful or you were a handful? They were. All right, OK. Yeah. OK. Would they, <laughs> would they say the same about you? Uh... I don't think I would be described as a handful. I was, I was a pretty, I always kind of went along with the program, for better or worse. I say that because in the Netflix series, Grace and Frankie, you play the role of Grace, a successful businesswoman, recently divorced, who develops a dildo specifically for older women. There's a thread here going through television and film, Jane. <laughs> right. <laughs> there is. <laughs> I've signed a contract saying I will do no television or movies that doesn't have to do with sex. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that, is there a renaissance for women and sex, at least talking about it and letting their feelings known between women, between their girlfriends, about their feelings on sex? Who gets involved in a relationship at 67? I mean, what is the point? Uh, the point is to get laid. It's always the point. Don't make me sick. Who still says get laid? Who still has any interest? I, no, 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 no. Yeah. I what? am not going to let us become those people. What people are you talking well, about? You know what people. The people who stop living before they stop living. Uh. I have no idea. I've written a book about it called Primetime, yeah. where I give a lot of advice. I know everything there is to know, either from first-hander experience or from research. 
I know about the shots and the pills and the mm. this and the that, and you'd be surprised. Pills. Mm -hmm. Is it such a bad thing? Tell men now. Should they be embarrassed? There's absolutely, there's only one thing wrong with pills, is the guy who pops a pill, explodes through the door when he comes home from work. Honey, I'm ready, come on. Uh-uh, <laughs> foreplay. Yeah. The operative word is slow. Intimacy, Yeah. first. He should call ahead and say, I feel, I feel, I really, I want you so bad. Mm. And I want you, if you feel like it, to maybe start thinking about us making love together. And I'm thinking, should I take a pill? And then coming in, and maybe if she's in the kitchen, stroking the back of her neck, you know, and build up to it. You can't just pop a pill and say, I'm ready. It's got very warm in this room all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, very, very warm. Um, <laughs> I could do more. Uh, to... Well, um, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> what about conversing with older men nowadays? Are women more I open? tend not to. You don't need to, really, do you? What's wrong with us, do you think? Oh, it's so hard to be a man. It really is. It's very... You I, have I, sympathy I, for our Oh, plot. yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys, you know, you're told to be real men. Don't ask for help. That's why half the time you don't get a woman pregnant because the sperm have lost the ability to ask directions. <laughs> anyway, now where did that come from? <laughs> but we do, maybe, maybe there needs to be a, a movement for men. Well, there, there kind of is a, a burgeoning movement in, in America and, and uh, I encourage it, but it depends on how we raise our boys. Yeah. We have to start raising our boys differently so they're not so vulnerable to shaming and this toxic masculinity. That's very, very true. You're at the hallowed halls of the Opera House tonight. <gasps> it's a special place for us. Well, it's, it's intimidating to be in, in an iconic building like that. I'm mm. looking forward to it, I guess. And what is it about kookaburras and you again? I'm reading about It's my, one of my favorite animals. Right. Yeah, I, I think they're hysterical. I've spent a lot of time with kookaburras. Yes. They're thieves too, you know. They, they steal your food and all sorts of things. Yeah, but they laugh. Yeah. And there's, I love the way they look. Finally, one last question. Robert Redford has announced his retirement. One more film, he says. I don't think it's in your DNA to retire. It's not in a fonder DNA, is it? I don't even know what it means. No. no I, I, and believe me, if I had one more film, it wouldn't be with him. It wouldn't be with him? No. I'm way younger than he is. Ah. That's a good tip. I'm not really. I'm, 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 I'm just a few months younger, but I feel a lot younger than him. You look beautiful. I want to make a movie with a young guy. Okay. Well, I've got my hand up at any stage, <laughs> at any time. Thank you very much for heating up the room and being um, available for us today. <laughs> Thank much you. Much appreciated.